So what's good, TMG fam? It's your boy Ellen. I'm back with another reaction. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Salute. Fam, 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 fam. Listen to me. Listen to me. Are y'all listening? Listen to me. After watching this video, I I decided this morning, you know what I mean? Um, some things happened with my dogs. My dog's been kind of sick lately. So it was like, well, not dogs. One of the dogs was sick and he was like real bad diarrhea or whatever. So like he had an accident this morning at like five something. And then he had another accident about, I want to say about nine something, right? So at that point, I was like, let me take him outside and just walk him around. So I'm walking him around. We go outside and, you know, you like to walk your dog around like woods, trees, all kind of stuff like that. You know, find them somewhere to go to the bathroom. So I'm taking him and this video from yesterday automatically pops into my head. I'm looking at leaves. I'm looking at trees. I'm looking at stuff on the ground. I'm like, yo, I'm not letting my dog, I'm trying to hold the, the leash tight and keep him away from, I'm like, yo, this video has officially done, you know what I mean, done altered my life at this point. Like, I'm just, no, don't, be careful. I don't know what that is. What is that? What is that? What is that? I'm looking like the dog. You know how the dog head be moving around? Smith, and then he move around, looking around. I'm looking like him too. What is that? What is that? Don't get, don't get too close to that. What is that? Is that guy? Hmm. It got fur under the bottom, on the top. Hmm. Don't be messing with that. Don't be sniffing that. Then you bring it in the house and the rest of it. Like, <laughs> but, but, I confess, here I am once again for another video. I'm right back. You know what I'm saying? I'm right back here again. So, with that being said. <laughs> With that being said, here goes the top 10 deadliest substances in the world you should never touch, part two. Part two, you guys, yeah. Yeah, if you was with me yesterday, then you understand what I'm talking about, or you are already one of those people that were just like, I ain't messing with nothing, I, don't, I, I can't identify. Thank y'all, y'all have now officially got me on board with that now. Now I'm like extra, like, nah, I need to go back to normal life walking past the tree and just slapping the leaves off of it. You know what I'm saying? I need to get back to that life. But um, yeah, we're going to check this out. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Join the fam. Once you do that, real quick, moment of silence for the haters. That's enough. Now run the likes up. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Let's go. Plants, minerals, and deadly starfish. <laughs> we have a fun one today, I think. Welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm your host, Taylor McWaters. You already know what's happening here today. Let's keep this knowledge train going, shall we? Here are the top 10 deadliest substances in the world you should never touch, part two. Kicking off the list at number 10, Deadly Nightshade. Yes, another name that gets right to the punch right away, Deadly Nightshade, AKA Atropa Belladonna. It's another poisonous plant that Macbeth's soldier used to poison their enemies. The thing that makes Deadly Nightshade so commonly known is the sweetness of the berries. Have you ever been outside and you see a berry and like 30% of you just for some reason wants to eat that berry? That's Me. <laughs> That's why my eyes got like huge right there, bro. I'm one of the ones that want to eat them, but I'm like, I'm always like, nah, thank you that I never ate one of them. Now, when it comes to like blackberries, as a kid, I used to eat blackberries, but then they kind of stopped them when people started spraying them pesticides and different things out on, on stuff. When they, them trucks be riding down the road and just spraying stuff, I stopped that, you know what I'm saying? Like, but yeah, yeah, I could have been, I, I could have been out of here, y'all. Have you ever been outside and you see a berry and like 30% of you just for some reason wants to eat that berry? That's normal. It's called being a human being. That's a good thing to have. But also, curiosity kills, so don't eat those berries. Or any berry, really. Deadly nightshade can be found in Europe, Asia, and Africa, and it grows purple flowers in groups of three along with those inviting purple berries. Just two to four of these berries can take a human life. The flower as well, do not ingest this. You'll get poisoned right away. You'll be delirious. It's all bad. Even if a pet chews on a leaf for a hot minute, Things gonna be a goner within the hour. Animals like horses, sheep, rabbits, they eat deadly nightshade salads. They're crazy. Perks of having cool stomachs, I guess. Number nine. 
chalconfite. Blue chalconfite is a hydrated copper sulfite. Its use in the scientific world is to ore copper. It's extremely rare in its raw form, but if you do happen to come across this blue beauty in an arid region, um, don't lick it. Weird that I have to say that, but check this out. This apparently is an issue. One Reddit user purchased a sample of blue chalconfite and they shared their experience, encouraging others to keep it stored in a glass case. Licking this rock will poison you and even touching it can turn your skin blue for a while. So unless you're auditioning for the Blue Man Group, stick to the mood gems for now. Number eight, Jimson Weed. Jimson Weed sounds like the name of a small town auto mechanic. Jimson Weed sounds like just a nice dude, you know? When in reality, he's actually a mean old man. The Jimson Weed flower is white or violet. It looks pretty- Oh, oh okay, okay. I, I thought, <laughs> don't, don't, don't point the finger like, like it wasn't y'all too. I thought it was something, they was talking about something different. Yeah, y'all automatically see me, my facial expression. See, I can't see y'all. That's why I don't see. Oh, I can't wait till YouTube upgrade to where I can see some of y'all while, while I'm doing the reactions, man. And to see y'all thought the same thing. I, based upon the, the, the name of it, some of y'all thought what I thought. Like the name of a small town auto mechanic. Jimson Weed sounds like just a nice dude, you know? When in reality, he's actually a mean old man. The Jimson Weed flower is white or violet. It looks pretty harmless and it grows up to five feet tall, so it too catches your eye. The seed pod in the middle looks like something Bowser would throw at you. It's a spiky little seed pod. Don't inhale Jimson Weed. This plant can cause hallucinations, seizures, breathing problems, and your heart will speed up like crazy instantly. It's named after Jamestown Weed because back in 1676, British soldiers got too close and hallucinated for 11 days straight. It was reported that they grinned like monkeys and 11 days straight trip, bro. You on a trip for 11 days? <laughs> they was begging to be taken out. Ale Ooh. I, I, whew, 11 days, bro. Seeing like stuff that ain't there, different colors. And kissed each other. Jim yeah, I, ooh. Jimson weed is a gateway drug to kissing your homies. Fun fact. This grows in southern Ontario. This is literally behind our building. Can we handle this? Is this all a dream? Chris, why are you dressed as a scarecrow? What's happening? Number seven, cinnabar. Not to be confused with cinnabun, this natural mercuric sulfide has been used in Chinese mineral medicine for over 2,000 years. Its bright red appearance have caused people to use it as jewelry at some point. And while sure, it looks flashy, it's, as you guessed, extremely toxic. It looks like something that would fight Spider-Man. It's this coating on top and in between rocks. Cinnabar is one of these few minerals that was found independently and then processed and used in the ancient world. So long as you lived in a country with an active volcano, you could find cinnabar. It would be ground up into fine powder sometimes and then mixed with liquids to create paint. Powdered cinnabar was once used in ancient cosmetics, but of course that didn't last long. As the title hints towards, it was quite toxic on the face. Leave the eyeliner at home for this one. Number six, hooded patui. Ah, yes, I bet you didn't expect a bird to be on this list. Gotcha. The hooded patui sounds so mysterious. Why is he wearing a hood? Perhaps because it's raining. He lives in the rainforest after all. Love those cheesy jokes. I'll always keep them in. These little guys have an orange-red chest with a dark black head. They're beautiful birds that are found mainly on the islands of New Guinea. Some say this bird is scary looking, and while I disagree with that, you should avoid the hooded patui. Its skin and feathers are covered in a neurotoxin called homopatracotoxin. If this bird landed on your shoulder and started to whistle tunes in your ear, sure, you're gonna feel like a Disney princess for a bit, but eventually, those toxins will start to cause numbness. While this isn't too bad on humans, other animals bite the bullet pretty quickly. These these birds aren't taking bats in radioactive puddles. Their neurotoxins come from the beetles that they eat. Nature is fascinating, terrifying, but fascinating nonetheless. Number five, asbestos. Another name we recognize, but are we really even sure? Listen to this one, y'all. Listen, if you work at like one of these old plants or something like that, this right here is one of your number one hazards, bro. Number one hazards, right here. Bless. Number five. Asbestos. Another name we recognize, but are we really even sure why? Asbestos is a natural mineral made of these thin fibers. Its primary use was for fireproofing and its origins and use date back to the first century. It was used as an insulator and due to its fibers being so fine and heat resistant, it could be added to cement, paper, or cloth, you name it, in order to make them more durable. It helps. Its dangers weren't widely known though until 1989. That's when the EPA banned the use of asbestos. It's so fine that you can breathe it in and then after that you're susceptible to lung cancer. It's a rare type of lung cancer specifically due to asbestos inhalation. It's called mesothelomia. More than 39,000 Americans lose their lives a year because of asbestos-related diseases. Number four, 
October night. Look out, Superman, we've also got a green radioactive rock and a mom named Martha. October night looks a lot like kryptonite, the fictional substance that weakens Kryptonians, but on Earth, we call this radiation. Yeah, it still does some damage. We're not super, but we'll cough a bunch. The mineral contains uranium and naturally releases radon, so if you're admiring the space rock, you better do so from the other side of an airtight, transparent container. Breathing in this rock means you're breathing in hydrated green copper, phosphate, and all things leading again to lung cancer. If you're into gems, maybe leave the time stone at home. There's a reason they call this the mineral from hell. Number three. See, I've always been like, when it comes to radiation, I always think back to this childhood memory of my cousin. He used to tell us like, yo, like he had us spooked. You know what I mean? So he would tell us like, yo, you don't ever stand in front of the microwave. And he would tell us all kind of crazy things. You stand in front of the microwave while he's doing his thing. Like, come on, like you, you won't be able to have kids or, or, or you, you know what I mean? It'll make you, it'll make you puke out all your insides. What else he used to tell us, man? Like he used to really scare, like to the point where I'd be like, trying to peek in front of the microwave. I would not. And then if I walked past and somebody was heating their food up, I'd run past that way or walk all the way around to another room to get to the other side. Like seriously messed me up as a kid. You know what I mean? Even though there there is some probably some inherent dangers, but it's going right in our food. So we got bigger fish. The Rosary P. Anything that starts with the, you know, it's bad news. The good news, though, is the Rosary P doesn't look like something you want to eat, unlike the Deadly Nightshade Berries. It looks like a ladybug. It's all red with a black spot on top. It looks like something the devil would offer you. Eating just one of these peas can cause death very quickly. The Rosary P has been the culprit in many jewelry makers' deaths. This pea was often used as a bead due to its mesmerizing natural colors, but what would happen is, while they were poking a hole through this tiny piece, sometimes the needle would slip and poke a finger or two. Normally, this is just another day for somebody into arts and crafts, but the poison went into your bloodstream and, well, that's a wrap. Like I said on part one of this list, if you're not sure about anything berry-wise, just don't eat it. Just walk away. Don't even touch it. Don't sniff random bushes. Don't lick any weird rocks. Don't eat any strange berries. Please? Thank you. Next. Number two, comb stars. Ocean life is by far the scariest thing out there. We have no idea what's in our ocean still to this day, like 98%. We're like, well, we just don't know. We discover some crazy fish every year, some deep sea fish with bioluminescence that are for sure aliens, while others are natural predators. Like the comb star, for example, a starfish that contains pterodoxin, this deadly neurotoxin that can cause you paralysis imagine another reason for me not to go in the water right there a starfish that's deadly i never thought i i didn't know starfish were deadly like that now i know another reason for me not <laughs> to get back in that water having this guy in finding nemo the movie would be like eight minutes long done kids crying immediately for every gram of comb star flesh there's enough toxin to take out 500 mice and before you ask no we don't have an antidote for that quite yet Swim in fear. And finally, number one, polonium. This no, whoa, 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 whoa. No antidote. So who still feels comfortable? Imagine yourself out there swimming, you know, catching the waves, having fun, and then you step on something, ah! What's that? You look down, that's a starfish. You normally, without watching this video or, or already knowing, you'd be like, ah, that's nothing, little starfish. You throw them back out there. You know what I mean? Because you've held a starfish in your hand before you went on like one of these excursions or something when you're out of the country or you're out of town and you went to some type of little, you know what I mean? And, and you held one in your hand before. So you automatically think, ah, oh, I'm okay. And then you go, you walk off in the next five minutes. Now you're swallowing your tongue, uh, your body is shriveling up and you, you're bleeding out your eyes. Like, who would have thought, man? That's why I said the ocean is the scariest place, man. Scary. This radioactive metalloid is extremely rare. So unless you're Homer Simpson, I don't think you'll be seeing any glowing substance anytime soon, which is great. Polonium is used primarily as a heat source on an atomic level. It glows bright blue because it's so strong that it excites the air molecules surrounding it. See, unlike acid, the particles in polonium don't have enough power to actually get through your skin, but it's still radioactive, which is bad news bears. One gram of polonium produces the same amount of radiation as five kilograms of radium. We had cyanide on our part one, well, this element is 250,000 times more toxic than that. Only one gram can take out 10 million people. A real life use of this element was against the former spy Alexander Litvinenko. Just a trace amount was slipped into his tea, so British, and he suffered for 23 days before passing away. Worst. 
again why do we have access to this why is this not just put on a rocket ship and sent somewhere out of this earth what is that's scary that's scary that's scary. Did you hear what he said about cyanide? Oh, a real life use of this element was against the former spy Alexander Litvinenko. Just a trace amount was slipped into his tea, so British, and he suffered for 23 days before passing away. Worst English breakfast ever. Guys, those were 10 more deadly substances you definitely don't want to touch, and I can't lie, I'm kind of loving this Bill Nye science theme that we have going on here between us. If you want to see a part three, hit that thumbs up, let us know in the comments, and I shall reappear with more mineral facts. I've been your host, Taylor. I feel like I have to definitely see uh, uh, a part three now. Like, it's a no-brainer. I need to know what all this stuff is that could possibly, that's so deadly. I need to know these substances. Would you have said, oh, man, wait till he talk about the starfish. I'd have been like, what? Shut up. Starfish? What you mean? Man, stop playing with me, fam. Starfish? Even the word starfish sounds fun, inviting. And like it's harmless. It just sounds fun. Even though when you used to be a kid and you see reading rainbow, it was a star. Everything star related, you know what I mean? For the most part, it's fun, exciting. Ah, no. So at this point, I'm obligated. I gotta watch. I gotta watch. However many more parts. Y'all let me know in the uh, in the comment section. How, how many more parts of this is it? But you're scary. How many more deadly substances can that endless, endless amount. So, but yeah, man, y'all get at me in the comment section. Let me know what you think and uh, be safe out there. If you can't identify it, don't touch it. Don't eat it. Don't play with it. Don't do nothing. Just avoid it. All right. We trying to stay safe out here. It's your boy L, man. Y'all get at me. Till next reaction, I'm gone. Peace.